God was judging the city. He here singles out the sins of, of the city's prophets and the iniquities of her priests who shed the blood of the righteous. Now what I think he means there is that they were complicit in the shedding of innocent blood in that they enabled or emboldened the perpetrators by failing to represent God accurately to them. They were complicit in the taking of innocent blood. They neglected or they concealed or they lied about God's will and God's anger with the people's disobedience. And thus they shared in the murders by contributing to the climate of lawlessness in which those murders occurred. They sat here and said, no, everything's fine. Place is a nut house, a moral cesspool. And here are the spokesmen of God. Oh, we're great. It's great. It's great. Well, they were complicit then, you see. Instead of this word of God that comes in like a sledgehammer, not like fog, not something that you can blow off and shape to your own desires, like a sledgehammer that comes in bringing God's values, God's judgment, God's meaning. Boom! They didn't bring that word. Now, what did that do? See, that emboldened people, okay, everybody's good, we're all on board. And I cannot help but think about abortion in this society. How can that possibly happen? How can people be intimidated? We are intimidated. We don't want to speak about it. Oh, that's politics, baby. It's killing children. It just drives me crazy. We can't talk about it. Well, I can talk about it. <laughs> you see? But you, know, you say, how could that possibly? No one would ever grow silent. Well, there are all kinds of strategies for silencing the Word of God. You see? For co-opting the Word of God, the message of God. Instead of it breaking in and judging and condemning and standing and saying, no, that's wrong, wrong, immoral. Okay? And so I look at this and I say, well, how, how could the prophets and priests be? Well, I can see how it happened. I can see how it would happen. 